Yo, what is good? I am Richie Kim and welcome back to Richie Revs. As you all know, you know, I've had this car for quite some time now. I don't know, maybe like four months, five months. Um, yeah, you know, I've loved absolutely every single minute of this car. Um, all the time that I've had in this car, all the events that I've gone to, all the new people that I've met, um, and all the mods. I love all the mods that I've done to this car. So, you know, this kind of hurts for me to say, um, because I never thought that this would happen, uh, but it's happening. Um, it's not that too serious. Uh, actually, I'm going back to the OEM exhaust, or at least kind of. Um, I have received like a lot of noise complaints from neighbors um, just from you know having the full-length Valtronic exhaust so I am going back to the OEM axle back um, I'm still keeping the, the single mid pipes um, so you know hopefully the sound won't change too much uh, but what I'm really hoping for is the fact that uh, you know if I do continue to get noise complaints right um, or if you know, if it ever happens, like if I get pulled over by a cop or something, um, you know, I have the OEM axle back, so it looks like my full exhaust is OEM. And if they say something, I'm just gonna say like, you know, it's, it's a it's a stock exhaust, right? Like, um, can't really do much about it. That's just how the car is. So hopefully this will like smooth out any future problems that I might have, um, and also obviously resolve the current problem that I have. Uh, so yeah, I mean gonna be getting that done today um, so yeah the Valtronic axle back is going off OEM axle back is going on um, I will have the uh, valve controllers and the actuators from Valtronic put on the OEM axle back so I have full control over you know the valves on the OEM uh, so that'll be nice uh, I don't like you know having to use this exhaust button down here um, especially because you know as you all know the valves don't even like fully open um, so yeah, uh, doing that today, we'll see how it sounds. Um, I'll do like a before and after kind of, you know, I do have like sound clips of uh, what the full length Valtronic exhaust sounded like. Um, so I'll get like a little sound test for you all uh, once the OEM is on with the valves fully opened and closed just so we could see like how much of a difference there is. Um, so yeah, I, um, let's see how it goes. All right, so. The stock exhaust is back on definitely looks you know stock now so I won't have any problem with neighbors and cops and you know whatever but uh now the question is how does it sound compared to you know uh, the Valvetronic axle back with the Valvetronic mid pipe I'll tell you right now just from like driving definitely sounds different whether it's a good or bad thing, yeah, I mean, I think it sounds slightly worse. Um, the burbles are definitely a little bit more muffled, and yeah, I mean, I'll make another video later on, uh, you know, like a POV drive type video, so you all can actually hear the uh, exhaust while I'm driving. But right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get like some revs in. Um, obviously, you know, this isn't under load either, so it, it sounds a little bit different under load, but. Yeah, you know, this kind of gives you like a general idea of like what it's going to sound like. All right, so it's been about, uh, let's see, it's been about four days since I've had the, uh, the OEM axle back with the Valvetronic mid pipe on. Um, and I have to say, I really don't like the sound. Um, I mean, it is loads better than just, uh, you know, the, the full length stock exhaust. I think it sounds way better, but the OEM Anselbeck really just has this tone um, and I don't really know how to describe it, but the tone just does not sound good. Um, so yeah, I honestly, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do because like I said, you know, I have, had some problems uh, with like noise complaints when running the full length Valtronic but at the same time you know at this point like I this this car costs so much money right and I'm gonna be keeping this car for a while so I want to enjoy every single second that I'm in this car um, and 
and just you know having the OEM axle back just doesn't sound good and um, it really does kind of ruin the experience a little bit especially since you know I've already had the full length Valtronic on my car before um, so who knows what I'm going to do in maybe the next week or so um, I'm honestly debating if I should go back to my full length Valtronic and just say you know screw screw their neighbors or whatever um, or hopefully maybe I don't know maybe they'll just get over it um, but yeah you know it just it really doesn't sound good um, and you'll you'll hear a little bit in like this POV I'll I'll stop talking um, so you can hear the tone but yeah I mean if you all can hear that it just doesn't sound very good um, and this is with the valves open right um, I'll put it in M2, my sport mode. Like uh, the burbles. I don't know, the, the burbles are muffled too. It just doesn't sound as aggressive. Um, yeah, not, not really a fan of this. So, anyways, like I was saying, you know, we'll see what I do. Um, I might honestly just go back to the full-length Valtronic. Um, I, I still have it sitting in my trunk right now. Um, so that is an option and just say like kind of, you know, screw it, screw the neighbors or whatever, but we'll see. Also, I think this challenger is trying to, <laughs> I don't know, he's being a little aggressive, but yeah. Um, all in all, not a fan of the OEM axle back. Like I said before though, does sound way better with the Valtronic single midpipe compared to the full length stock exhaust, which obviously, you know, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the, the, the tone is just not where I want it to be. The sound's not where I want it to be. So we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.